hey guys thanks for tuning into the replay if you're watching this part or tuning into my youtube channel i really appreciate your support so tonight i'm going to share with you uh, one of our unique collections which is on sale till the end of the month because March 1st we have new collections. Hi Amy! So I already have my base face on, I have my liquid foundation, my primer underneath and my blush on top. So I'm going to get started. So the first thing I'm going to do is my brows. Okay, so I think brows are one of the most overlooked uh, areas in makeup like for the most average woman it's not something you always think about doing but it does make a big difference uh, your brows frame your face and make your eyes stand out so definitely take the time to do your brows if you have it all right so I'm gonna show you so this is the first thing that comes in the collection uh, which is called Primed and Lined, and it's 20% off the whole collection. So you get a Brow uh, Moodstruck Brow Obsession Palette. This is the blonde one. I kind of go between the blonde and the brunette one. This is just the one that I happen to have at my makeup desk, so that's what I'm going to use. And I'm using the Brow Artist brush. I like this brush because it has like a really fine tip, and then the other side is flat. So, I don't even know which powder I use. I think I use the, the darker one. Yeah, I definitely need the darker one. I like to start, usually I start around the arch and just do kind of the outline. My brows are really not that bad. I had them threaded about a week ago. I just have some bare spots that I like to fill in. And in case you didn't know, as we age, our brows actually lose their pigmentation a lot like our hair. So doing your brows can actually make you look younger. So I know I need all the help I can get to look younger. So I like to do my brows when I have a chance. And I find this brow palette makes it super easy. You don't it's, it has numbers and everything, but really all you need to do is take your, your powder and fill them in. I take the lighter powder for the beginning of my brows. Hi, Kim. And then I like to go to the other side right away. And it's okay if your brows aren't exactly the same. They are sisters, not twins. And you wanna kinda of stick with the general shape of your brow. So then on this palette you do have I don't know if you guys can see the color. It's kind of washed out. This one is like a pinky color and a lot of girls ask me what that's for. That's actually for defining your brows. I will show you that in a second. I forgot one step. We're gonna go ahead now with this gel. I like to just put a little small amount on the same side of the brush and just run it over and that's just gonna help everything stay in place. A lot of girls like mixing the gel and the powder. You can do that too. And these brow palettes will last forever. They literally will last forever. Like I have not, I bought the blonde one because I thought when I was blonder, I thought, oh, maybe I should get the lighter one. But other than that, I have never had to buy a new one. Okay, so there you go. You guys see how it makes my eyes pop and just add some definition. I'm just going to brush that out. So I'm going to show you this pink 
part of the palette. There you go, it's, you can see it better like that. I'm gonna take my flat brush and I'm just gonna use it to define, and I know it looks kinda crazy right now. Don't worry, we're gonna fix that. It actually doesn't look that bad on the camera. <laughs> In real life, it looks kind of crazy. Okay. And that's just going to highlight your brow bone. Okay. And then you can also add this highlight on your brow bone if you want. That's going to make your eyes look bigger and brighter. Okay. There we go. So, this is the first thing you get in the collection, which, by the way, is an extra 20% off. So, it's now $126.40, regular $158 for the collection. And, um,. This is regular $59, so if you do the math, it's a really good deal. Okay, so that's the first thing. Next is going to be the eye primer. So I'm going to put this on my eyes. Thank you, Kim. That's so sweet. I'm going to put this eye primer on my eyes. And this is going to help my eyeshadow color really pop. It's going to help it stay on all day and not crease and really help that pigment um, adhere to my eyelid. So it's just prepping your eyelid for eyeshadow. And this is also going to last you forever. This is my second one. I got the first one when it first came out. I think I still have it, <laughs> to be honest. I think I lost it, um, so now I have two but this is going to last you forever as well, and it's a regular $29, but it's on sale right now. Okay, next I'm gonna do, obviously, my eyeshadow. So, the color I picked is, I actually haven't picked a color. I have a lot of options. These are kind of my favorite everyday ones. I think I'm gonna go for is it this one? Slick, kind of a pinky. I'm gonna go for gentle. It's like a shimmery, you really can't see it on camera. Oh, it's pink. It's a shimmery pink there. You kind of can see it better like, like that. Um, I get a lot of glare off of the, the ring light. Okay, so that's a really pretty everyday pink that you could wear. And I'm going to start off soft. I'm just going to do the one color all over my eyelid. Um, so you get one color. You get to choose one color. And it comes a in a little compact, a single compact. Um, so this is like, this is the quad compact. So it'll be exactly like this, but just one. Okay. And it's a magnet. It snaps in. Um, so you get to choose from like, a ridiculous amount of colors and for the sake of this video I'm just gonna show you exactly what comes in the collection so I'm just gonna put one color on my eyelid and show you that makeup does not have to be complicated you can just keep it simple with one eyeshadow and this is a color that I find really brightens up my eyes it adds a bit of shimmer and you can build on if you want. Another thing you can do to make your color really pop is spray your brush with, I don't have my rose water, but you can spray it with setting spray as well. Okay, and that's for the metal metallic or shimmer colors, it's really gonna make them pop and I like doing that in the middle of my eyelid 
actually helps your eye look bigger. Okay, there we go. So that's that. I've made a huge mess on my desk, but you guys can't see that. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. Okay, so next in the collection, we have liquid liner. And I never used to be a liquid liner person, but now that I've started using it, I really prefer it to... Um, to pencil liners just because it's more precise you get a, a you can get a thinner line with it and it just looks more polished and put together in my opinion I still use I like to use pencil on the lower lid so I'm using this one is a maroon no sorry shimmery brown <laughs> like which one is this uh, prominent okay I know one of them is sold out I think the blue one is no longer available this is prominent and I usually typically use the um, what you call it the black one <laughs> it's been a long day oh my god okay I feel like I need to be like right in front of the mirror for this one so sorry guys but oh my mirror okay I don't know why I have like a lash like sticking up like it just sticking right up it's making it really hard to put on my liner okay so it does come in black brown um, like a shimmery maroon which is really pretty and I believe the blue is sold out but it's one of my favorites Okay, and I am going to do, okay, I'm going to dip it in just so I know I have some on the pointy tip. I'm going to take that little pointy tip and do my wing. Okay. Not the greatest wing I've ever done, but whatever. I'm not going anywhere, so I don't really care. Even if I was, I wouldn't really care. <laughs> so, you guys should have seen the first wing I ever did. It was awful. It just takes practice. I still can't believe those that uh, are able to put liquid liner or any eyeliner on with their eyes open. Like, just like, whoa. Like, I don't know how they do that. That's like my goal in life. <laughs> Except my lashes go up, so I, I don't understand how I would do that. Oh. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty much how it, it was, Kim. And like, Sometimes when I'm in a rush, I'm like, oh, okay, like, I'll just do liquid liner or whatever. And then next thing you know, it's, like, all over my face, and then I have to restart, and don't do liquid liner when you're in a rush. I remember I had asked someone, I had asked my, my VIP group, like, okay, give me some ideas of makeup videos I can do. And I think like two or three people were asking me to do a liquid liner video. And I was like, okay, like I can do this. And, oh crap, you see, I messed it up. So <laughs> I'm just going to leave it for now. Um, so I was like, yeah, I can definitely do like a video on how to do liquid liner and I got my stuff all set up and I went to do the video and literally like I think I retried like five different times and I was like filming it and it was like messing up, poked myself in the eye, got it all over, okay take it off, start over five times and then my eyes were like getting red from taking it off so many times. 
I was like, okay, never mind. This is not happening. But one day I will perfect the liquid liner and I will make a video, a step-by-step -step video. Um, but honestly, it just takes practice <laughs> and I still mess it up. So, okay, what am I doing? All right, so I did my brows. I did my eye primer, eyeshadow, my liquid liner. Now, of course, it is time for my lashes. Okay, so I'm using our Epic Mascara in black. Yeah, black. Thanks, Melissa. This is actually like my, this is just my regular hair color. It does look a lot darker in this light for some reason it looks really dark but oh there's some blonde as I get closer <laughs> okay so I don't know why it looks really dark and I mean it does get darker in the winter my hair is just kind of like dirty blonde and it gets really dark in the winter because I'm not in the Sun oh this is an old mascara I can tell It's not as amazing as it should be. So that's one of your clues that it's time for new mascara is if you're like, why is it like not really going on as smoothly as it used to and it's not as amazing as it used to be? Um, probably because you need to replace it. So we recommend replacing uh, your mascara every three months if you use it regularly. Um, and you can go up to six months, but you should replace it every six months just because bacteria can grow in your mascara tube. Okay, so this is the collection. <laughs> Sorry, I cannot talk and do my mascara at the same time. So it's really pretty. Uh, if you want, you know, something for your eyes and your brows just to complete your look, um, you can message me for color recommendations. It is on. Um, extra 20% off so I think it's like a total of like 40 no 35% total off um, off retail price until uh, midnight on February 28th so message me if you want in on this deal and I'm going to and you get to choose your colors so I'm gonna add a liquid lipstick I'm gonna add the color successful which is a pretty nude. Oh, that tickles. <laughs> My lips are ticklish. literally tickles my lips <laughs> and I'm just gonna grab this random Kleenex <sighs> I did have a lip gloss on before I put this on oh, I feel like my lighting is not the greatest okay okay so this is the final look the lipstick doesn't come in the collection but there is another collection on sale with the lipstick. We have uh, three collections on sale until the end of the month. Blah, blah, blah. Extra 20% off. And I'd be happy to help you pick out your colors. I really like this blush. Where's my blush? I wanna show you guys. I got a new blush. Where's my new blush? Where is it? This is it. Sisterly. 
This is my favorite new blush. It's super pretty. It's metallic, but it doesn't really look metallic in the in the camera. I feel like I need to put more on. You guys kind of see it now. We have three new blushes that came out this month. And oh, the final thing in the collection is our cleansing stick. So I'll show you guys this one because mine is upstairs. Um, so this will help you get off all your makeup, including waterproof makeup. It is small like this, but it lasts forever. And it's just a stick that you twist up. You, it's kind of like waxy feeling. You rub it over your eyes. So you close your eyes, rub it over. And then I like to let it sit for a bit. It kind of melts onto your eyes. And then I just gently rub my lashes and then totally rinse it off. And it is the best makeup remover for waterproof mascara. It, you don't have to rub hard. It's pretty amazing. So this one is also in the collection. Sorry, I forgot to mention that because it wasn't something I was applying. But um, yeah, so if you guys are interested, want uh, some help choosing colors or want to be color matched, just message me. I'd be happy to help you out. Hope you guys are having a fabulous Friday. TGIF. Bye.